Man, look at that thing hit that tower up there. But that's uh, about a thousand yards out there. We can go ahead and poke it out. That's a thousand yards there, and then back over here, and then we can put it in front of us. And that's a good, I think, a good demonstration of how this thing would work. But if you're doing room clearing, I would definitely go ahead and just bring that laser down. You don't need all that light, or you can just turn it off. All right, guys, go to War 32 here, check it out. So I'm sitting out here in the Freedom Office. I haven't done a video in a while, simply because I honestly have been worn out with it all. I mean, with what's going on in our country, to see what has happened with our election, the results of an election, if this whole thing slides and, and he's actually goes through and sworn in, the direction we are heading in, uh, a country without morals, a country without uh, moral guidelines, uh, if it feels good, just do it. If you feel like this, just do it this day. So it, it's, I just sit back and I look and I'm going, not only is there just a huge potential that we are going to lose, everything we have fought for in the last several years as it relates to the Second Amendment, but there's so many other items that are just on the brink of just going to, uh, to the, the, you know, shit. So in any case, I sit up every night. I, I've, been, I've been doing what I could not to watch the news, but uh, that's not doing any good. But so anyway, jumping back into the game, we got to get in there, man. You can't end the fight. Let's talk about this. Uh, in the event that this jackass is sworn in, we're going to fight. We're going to fight for our rights. We will march. We will do whatever it takes. That in the hell of high water, no one is going to register a damn thing. <laughs> No one is going to have anything confiscated. Uh, and the, 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 the ends, the means to the ends, guys, at that point is ours. We will only give up what we give in to. Does that make sense? And that's where we're going. So one of the things that I like to do on occasion, I'll, I'll sit there and I'll bring up some news. And, I, and one of my favorite uh, websites to look at is Gun Owners of America. Uh, that's a great source of information. I know we got Jared Guns and Gadgets over there. He's a good friend of mine. Everybody puts on there, you need to watch Guns and Gadgets. Dude, I'll watch him. <laughs> I don't got his phone number. <laughs> so anyway, uh, one of the things that strikes me on uh, some of the steps that Mr. Biden, if elected, or <laughs> if elected, right, and sworn in as our president, he will try, or is his endeavor to destroy our Second Amendment. Their whole thing is that you don't need a so-called, what do they call it, assault weapon? A so-called assault weapon. American sporting rifle, I prefer, uh, to go deer hunting. Well, Mr. Biden, that specific firearm, as well as any firearm, all firearms, are not meant for just strictly hunting. They are strictly, they are designed to kill. That's what they do. And at the end of the day, the byproduct is we can go shoot three gun, we can go shoot skeet, but at the end of the day, every firearm that is ever produced is designed to not only be accurate, but it is designed to kill. And that's the whole thing that these people don't get is that, well, at the end of the day, uh, all firearms are going to be regulated one way or another. Don't don't let them kid you. Oh, you don't need this. Get a shotgun. Get a shotgun. Bullshit. I have to laugh. So, one in looking back at all the little steps, and we're, we're going to get to the point right now. I mean, it would have been a three minutes into this whole video. Uh, I, I looked at some of the things on an article, and I've discussed these in the past. I've, I've gone through them in detail, but I'm looking at some of the items that have the greatest potential to pass without inflicting or constricting our constitutional rights. Now, one of the things that Donald J. Trump did is he, he put an individual on the Supreme Court, hella hot water, they made it happen, okay? And that is one of the most important things that we have on our side right now. We have federal judges, we have Supreme Court judges who are like-minded in that they know that the Second Amendment was written for specific reasons, not to be interpreted as a National Guard or, you know, only in your home or anything else. These guys will try to push everything they can to the limit. So there's one thing that really chaps my rear end in this whole deal is banning the sale of guns, ammo, and gun parts online. 
I can I think it's kind of interesting is that they say banning the sale of guns online, banning the sale of ammo online, banning gun parts online. That's what that means. In the online sale of firearms and ammunition, Biden will enact legislation to prohibit all online sales of firearm, ammunition, kits, and gun parts. That's totally unconstitutional. As far as I can see it, but part of it is, is a total lie. You know, as well as I do, that if I look up on, I don't know, Big Daddy Unlimited, one of my favorite places in the world that you can save a lot of money on. <laughs> uh, if you look on their website and you try to buy a firearm, I had a guy a long time ago, he and I went back and forth. Well, I can go on this line and I can order it. And I said, go ahead and order that gun and see what happens. He emails me back. Well, I, 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 it says I got to send it to an FFL. I said, bingo. Yeah, you do. It's not like you can have the damn thing delivered to your front door, but you can in Canada. You sure as shit can. As long as you got your firearm owner, correct me if I'm wrong, and somebody leave a comment, let me know what your thoughts are. But the whole thing is, is you just can't pick up the on the line and order a gun and have it delivered to your house like these people are leading other individuals to believe. And this is one of the parts that I absolutely cannot stand. It's misleading the public, the unknowing. They're telling a lie. If they're a politician, well, if they open their mouths, they're pretty much lying. So let's talk about this. Ammunition. Banning the sale of ammunition online. Well, <laughs> right now, there's not a whole lot of ammunition out there, but you can, you can, in fact, order bullets for reloading. So are we going to outlaw the sale of any ammunition component like powder, primers, bullets, mil uh, <laughs> bullet presses? And so it, there, that's totally unconstitutional. I don't think we have to look too far for that. Now, here's where they're going to, here's where the kicker is. Uh, oh, oh, well, we're talking about ammunition. What are the folks up there in uh, Alaska? What are you going to do? You know, do you order ammo directly to your door? Reloading supplies directly to your door? Or now are you going to have to get in the vehicle or even an airplane and make that trek? to figure out how you're going to, one, protect your family, two, feed your family, because that's how a lot of people feed their families up there. You're gonna walk up to that bear and beat him over the head with a battle ax? I don't think so. The gun kits. This is a thing that's kind of gonna be a little sticky. Now, is, is a gun kit a part? Uh, are we talking about holsters? Are we talking about hand guards? Are we talking about barrels? Gun kits. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, look at that thing right there. I've, I, I haven't bought a whole bunch of kits lately just because I like to piecemeal all my stuff. But gun kits and parts, all that implies that I guess we're going to have to go to a, a store like you do in California, you know, to buy a gun part. Do you have to fill out uh, a 4473 now? Hmm. Gun parts, grips. Uh, sites. Some of the things, if you look on Amazon right now, even eBay has quit selling like barrels, muzzle brakes. Well, you can still buy muzzle brakes, I think, because they put them on there or something else. Uh, so, <laughs> iron sights, hand guards. You can't buy hand guards, butt stocks. All those items, triggers, any of that stuff, it's unbelievable that what they would do is they will try to eliminate your ability, one, to protect your family, with is which the Second Amendment was designed to do, as well as protect our country from a tyrannical government under the guise of safety for everyone. So these are the things that I think about when I'm sitting at night. And I am stressed out as hell because I just feel like the government that we knew, that's gone. This new guy, if he gets sworn in, he will attack our Second Amendment rights. And I think we, as people of our country, need to attack right back. Civil disobedience. Let's show them who's boss. We are boss, not that jackass, not the people in Philly, not the people in New York, not the people in L.A. or Chicago. But here we are. I got my dogs barking over there. I'm trying to be, this is a very professional, but in any case, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. End the online sale of firearms and ammunition, banning the sale of guns, ammo, and gun parts online. Do you think that's constitutional at all? 
And I know the guys over there at arms list, they got to be pissed off as hell with this BS and trying to keep everything smooth. And you know what? <sighs> Usa. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I'm looking at those individuals out there, the men and women in uniform. You guys are going to have to reach down, I say it again, and figure out what side of the Constitution you're going to be on, the right or the left. And if you're left, you're wrong. It's Coda Boy 32 If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers 24-7 for, for freedom. Freedom is not free. Y'all be good. Love you a long time. Take care.